Channel group changed. Insufficient permissions. User joined your channel. Hey Rob. Hey Bash. Hello. New computer, Rob. Sound like you're muted. muted. Fuck. Fucking shit, guys. Sound resume. Microphone activated. All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I am Coffee and Chaos, and welcome to a little live stream today. Um, I'm about to go ahead and pull a couple of friends in here, and we're going to go ahead and get started on a little live stream game. So let me see if I can get Gorton here. Probably gonna take him a minute to get in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the game itself. And let's see, you gotta set to friends only. We're gonna leave the onboarding process on because it's Gort's first time hopping in here. I always like the intro to this. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately hey, accomplish project assembly. I fucking hate his feedback, Mike, though. You <laughs> provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. We're watching a little intro. Oh, we're watching a little intro to the video right now, and uh, you can go ahead and join me live. results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R and D for analysis. I don't like his feedback. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Morning. I swear to God, it's annoying that he, he like that. Please remain the seated only during one. full procedure. Refuses. It's a sick body. Just, just put a headset on. I literally can't hear a word you're saying. Not really. Yeah, the, the intro to the game is a little loud. <laughs> uh, 
literally entering the atmosphere. Okay, we have landed, and now I can finally hear you. Welcome Hello. to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated <laughs> sector in the binary star system. Yeah, you kept talking, I was just like, what? Huh? I am Ava, also known as our official directory and assistant, tasked to support the only one that refuses such as you to in the mission. You are the third of your like, sector on, to survive you know, planet. Nice. Ever... Congratulations. Ooh, hurts my ears, I'm like being a pussy. Note. Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Yeah, I know. First I'm objective. Critic. So, Use can you see the. the um, I'm just going to skip through some of these things here. Can you. Oh my gosh. She doesn't shut up. He won't. Okay. Uh, so, can you join the game? Like, can you see the game now? No. I still don't see you. Uh, it should be listed under, like, friends games. I have to, oh, I have to manually join. I can't just join through Steam. You might be able to join through Steam, but if you manually join, it's the easiest way. Uh, there we go. Hello, Axis. Gord has joined the game! Hello. Are you... Are you in space? Nope. I'm on the ground. Oh, you're like way over there. Okay, I'm I'm coming to you. So the good thing is I actually know this area pretty well. Uh oh. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated it Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to oh, a means no. of defense against extraterrestrial threats. It figures. The moment I start, the puppy has started barking. Like, I... Mm. Wood chipper. So, I'm gonna come and meet you really quick. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Damn, you are a ways away. I am being chased by aliens. Okay, come on, come on. No, no. Alright, leave me alone. I have to find my friend, and then I have to take the puppy outside. This is not this is not a good start to my first live stream. Please start out with nothing. Um, you should start off with like a a Xeno Zapper. So if you press tab, you should be able to put that in your inventory. Hands. Okay. Yes. And that is your only defense to start off with. You literally uh, shock things to death. E Damn, dude. You are way the hell away. Are you uh, moving around? No. Can you, can you move towards me? Uh, yeah. Oh, hurt. oh. Oh, there you are. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Oh hi, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't just jump off of things. I want to test. No, it was my test for gravity. Make sure, I, you know, like what was lethal. That's not lethal. Yes, That's gravity. Fine. Gravity is a thing. Gravity works. So, fun fact: you can, um, if you're shifting, like hold shift to jump, or yeah. hold shift to run, jump, and then when you land, press and hold C while you're holding shift, and you'll slide. So like you can slide down hills. Uh, 
So like shift forward and then while you're holding both of those, press C. Okay, I kinda I'll, I'll take some practice. There you go. Uh oh, aliens, aliens, aliens. Nice. And they drop these little alien carapace things that you can pick up. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead. I know, but if I can set up, uh, just like have a flu. Okay, I'm gonna run up here. Um, so does it give you the tutorial? Like, press V to scan for iron nodes yeah, and okay. Like that. Yes. I'm gonna let you kind of like work through that for just a moment now, and I'm gonna run and take care of the puppy, and then when I come back, we'll actually be able to play with things. To, and to anybody that's watching the live stream right now, I'm going to apologize. This is going to be a highly distracted live stream where everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Anybody who's watching on YouTube later, it's just going to be one of those things. And we're just going to have fun and it's going to be a normal day. The hub. Note, to complete this objective, so the resources salvaged from the drop moment. pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Hey, hey Gisborne, how's it so going? I've got to go, but I'll be right back, guys. Progress. I'm guessing you want the pier. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm back with a small crackhead. Um, there's an alien up here that's very angry at me. Yes, he is. Ooh. Okay, okay, great, okay. Great distraction, by the way. Ooh. So what now? What was that? Great distraction. <laughs> it was funny, too. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. I got all the uh, pure veins up there, around here. Yeah, so the um, the actual veins are on the ground. The pure rocks on top are just a quick influx of goods to get you started. I figured. I figured as much. So Is I've actually... Like never yeah, they're never-ending. Oh, interesting. Okay, so, so set up? I'd kind of like to set up where I was set up before. So let's head over this way. I found a pretty cool spot that has a little bit of everything that's going to be good for, like, 
very early game. Mm -hmm. And then as we go, we'll be able to keep on expanding. Like I said, I, <laughs> I've only like seen like videos, but these are like late stage random videos for like the silly one meme one that you know that, that was that made this game popular. <laughs> yeah. Know, probably, do you watch stuff you? like uh, Kibitz doing his playthrough? Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. Two of them. Toro, Toro. Hey, you just shocked me. Oh, my bad. Nice. Friendly fire is on, so my bad. <laughs> Figure that much. Um. Oh, there's something else here. Hang on. Do you hear that? Yeah. What is that? Uh, so the green worm thing we want to collect, but there's something else nearby, and I think it's well, a spitter. Right it's a spitter. Oh. So these things shoot fireballs at you, Ooh. and they have more health. Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, Ow. Ugh, that hurt. Yeah, I got three health. Be all right. So these little things are power slugs. Okay. And you have to hold E to collect them. Ta-da! And they're something that we're going to unlock in just a little bit. Ooh, we got some quartz here as well. Go ahead and pick that up. Uh, let's see. It's over here up on this hill. Lost that E for a sec. There you go. Yeah, at least we've got the uh, the marker on top to help guide you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Compass. All right. So this is. Uh oh. Where are you? Ah, there you are. So we've got a couple more that we can gather from here. Uh, you go ahead and grab that one. I'll grab this one. And I'll go ahead and get our hub set up. Uh, let's go ahead and find a side. I'm thinking like over here. We'll just kind of clear this out. So like all the leaves and stuff, get them out of here. And let's go ahead and put it like right here. Just get rid of leaves, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna be able to use them in a little bit here. You can actually burn them for power. Makes sense. All right, there is our hub. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective: complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So I'm going to go ahead and use the craft bench here for a second so I can create a, a second one. Only one person can use a craft bench at a time, so if we have two of them, then we can both work simultaneously. <clears throat> so if you check out this panel over here, um, come, come over here by me. So see this little hub terminal? Yeah. Go ahead and grab it, and then select the first upgrade. Yep. And then all of a sudden, the top right, you'll see a little thing that tells you what you need. Yeah, iron rod. Done. So we send that and send that at the space, right? Um. Yeah. This will launch a little rocket that's going to gather stuff to go up in space, and then later on, we're going to actually get something else that will. Uh, it's like a full-on space elevator. So, now we got a second craft bench here. And so all you have to do is go to the hub terminal and you can control click just like in Factorio to go ahead and throw the uh, goods in there when you have it selected. So I got 9 out of 10. If you can get one more in there, we'll be good to go. Mm, per this.
I need to craft them? Yeah, yeah okay. um, so you craft, you get... take the iron, make iron ingots, and then iron ingots into whatever you need. Um... Oh, bring it, buddy. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, a second node of pure limestone? I don't usually see that. Congratulations, you have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to, note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. All right, so we need to get some of these portable miners going, so I'm going to get a little bit of iron ore here and go ahead and make us an equipment workshop. She's talking, hold on. <laughs> Storage. All right, what do we need again? Peace. It's gonna be four more rods, okay. Oh, make stuff, okay. <clears throat> she's still talking? Nope, she's done. Okay, so I made a little workshop over there that you can use to make the actual portable miners. So the craft benches are like to make all of your basic materials, and the equipment workshop makes all of the random tools and things that you need. Okay, just building a whole bunch of iron. Yeah. Needle. So what we're doing right now is called the onboarding process. It's basically just their little in-game tutorial. Mm -hmm. it shows you like all the things that you do, and shows you like the overall game process. Yes, I figured as much. And let's grab you. I'm going to go ahead and get our first little miner up. This thing's not going to overheat for me using it too much, is it? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, <laughs> this man thing's glowing. Uh, Gizborn, it is 12.56 p.m. So it's the afternoon for me. Yeah, I know. It, 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 like, glows red as you use it more. You can also, like, if you have a thing selected that you know you want to make a ton of, you can just tap the space bar and it will keep crafting. It's a toggle for the craft button. Hey, you know. People. Coffee, coffee. Didn't hear a thing you said. Um, I was just letting you know that uh, if you are... I'm having a brain fart. Um, if you're trying to craft something and you need to craft like a whole bunch of it, like you had 100 iron that you needed to craft, um, just select what you're trying to make and then tap the space bar and it will keep on crafting that. It's like a toggle. Oh, okay. Sounds like a fucking... Oh. Hey, 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 hey. That's a lot more colorful than clicking. I'll bop you. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, Gizborn, we're almost to the point where we need to start getting coffee and Anno, and I'm super excited for that. This stream is kind of a test to see if I could actually do streams on, uh, on YouTube with Anno. Anno doesn't work very well when I was streaming to Twitch. It has a lot of lag. So, I was kind of curious like to see if I would see a little bit of a difference here, or no? I don't know.
That was a fuckload of iron. 200. Yeah, pretty soon here, um, we need to go ahead and select the next objective on the hub. So, okay. you want to grab that? I actually have enough of the iron plates, we just need rods. I, do. I can do that. I got no rod. Let me throw what I got in here. Uh, if you got like seven more rods, we'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. I got so, yeah. some rod. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Could resist. Alright, how is. Congratulations. You have unlocked Make myself a little bit bigger. feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Hey, Hopper. I know. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, okay. automate so the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. <laughs> Alright, I selected the mission. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, I'm sorry, I'm actively, like, live streaming, wrestling with a puppy, trying to tell you how to onboard on this game. It's like... <laughs> Fun, isn't it? This is the chaos in the coffee and chaos spectrum. Don't worry. Look for copper, man. Okay, so, um, do you know how to actually search for it? Yes, you switch it over. What you was the... Take... Yeah, that. Wait, no, not v. C. V. 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 Figured it so out there should be too. one nearby... Right yep. Right here. You already have a miner on it. No. Oh, that's iron. There's one right here, too. I thought you said copper. Oops. I'm okay. Remember. <laughs> a little loopy sometimes. Oh, that's nuts, Gizborn. That's oh, hilarious. Man, man. Oh. I don't have my gun. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so we can gather all the copper ore. You know, this is one of those games, I think it's fun on your own, but I think it's a lot more fun with friends. Because it goes faster. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And especially, like, once we start doing, like, buildings and stuff, if we can start, like, figuring out a general plan to how we build everything... This one's not so fucking complicated. <laughs> right. Well, yet. <laughs> well, you know, no, no, no. It's not in terms of factorio. You can actually sit there and look into it, too, and think of it like that. Different perspective, you know, looking down from the top down view of factorio, then being completely lost on how to do things with all the belts and all that. And this is like, oh. Oh, hey, by the way, over here, I just want to show you something. No. Um, And be careful when you're coming back here. I should have pointed this out. Okay, careful, careful. Look down at my feet. Yeah. And look off to your left. Like, yeah. down down here. There yeah. is a big-ass gorge here, and Whoa. I cannot tell you how many times I've fallen down there. I see that. So, just be aware, be warned. <laughs> also, there are terrible, horrible things down there, should you possibly survive. Great. I love it. Don't worry, we'll get down there later and we'll kill them all. Excellent. That's all you had to tell me. Did you get to shoot him, boss? That's all I needed to know. Ugh. Gizworn, I would really love to do that, but, like, um, my thing is, like, none of my friends are into Anno. And the problem with people that I don't know super, super well is like I would love to do some viewer stuff, but Anno is one of those. If I'm gonna do it, I really need to have a long-term game going. At, at least I kind of feel that way. I would love to have like a four-player game where each person gets their own 
uh, faction and have like some gentleman rules for how you do combat, how you fight over each other, stuff like that. I think that would actually be a lot of fun. But, you know, it's it's kind of hard to do like drop in, drop out because Anno is just not very well supported for that. I wish it were supported better. Yeah, the camera's definitely blurry on this. I'm seeing a little bit of artifacting on this video. There is another um, setting I can do. It's a normal latency. Like, it's there's latency levels. So I can have super low latency where it's very low quality, but it's, like, instant between me and you guys. Like, whatever you guys see me doing, it's almost instant and you can respond to it. And then there's a normal latency mode that's a lot slower. There's a little bit of a delay before you guys see it, but it's a higher quality. So... If we do another live stream, I might go for that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm probably going to see what I can do to start automating a few things. Alright, go ahead. I'm just going to manually building most of it already. Uh, what can I automate? I can automate a smelter. Well, actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I need rods and wire. I got it all. I just need the reinforced... Uh... Oh, no, I actually could use some... Oh, no. I got it. Well, Gizborn, I'm actually using a, uh, a V-cam setting, and that's actually... It's cutting out the background, so, you know, obviously there's going to be a little bit of artifacting, you know, you can see, especially when I'm moving my fingers around. Um, there will be a little bit of artifacting, but I'm also noting it's a, there's a little bit of blur as well, and that's just par for the course. This is the best I can do right now, unless I were to actually go for a full-blown green screen, and I'm just not at that point yet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple smelters here so we can just set up side-by-side -side, uh, smelting. Okay. How do we, how do we make the uh, reinforced iron blade? Reinforced iron? Oh, okay, so does it let us make that yet? Uh, it does not let us make those. What What do you need a reinforced iron for? Oh, that's what the hub upgrade is. Those are just regular iron plates, buddy. Oh, wow, that's not literally what it says. Reinforced plate on my screen. V what? That's so weird. Whatever. Yeah, see, I just put three of them in there. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I, I don't know what's bugging on that one. Why am I doing this when I just set up a smelter? You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. I got this, chat. I got Eighth this. Objective, complete hub upgrade for note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Yes, we like optimal results. <laughs> optimal results, camera. <laughs> Duh. The excellent. Speaking of Russian, has anybody heard anything else about Ukraine? Because all of a sudden it's like the news just stopped covering it completely. That's uh, a stalled front everywhere. Russians aren't making that much of the chances. Well, it's kind of hard to move forward when everything is going boom! Including your battleships. Hang on, I got a phone call. <laughs> Comrade, you sunk my battleship. Uh, do we have... Ah, we need to put this in. And there we have it. Oh, nothing important.
All right, so I have a pair of smelters here. So left hand side is iron, right hand side is copper. So you can just gather your ore and drop it in. Did I have another miner? I crafted all mine actually already. <laughs> well, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, so we need to go ahead and get a few more uh, miners going. Actually, can we make... No, we can't do the miners yet. Okay. So the funny thing is you need the portable miners all the way through the end game to keep upgrading your miners. Like every standard miner that's permanent, you need a uh, portable miner for. Did we set one up over here on the copper? I don't think I did. Ooh, 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 almost went into the chasm. That would have been bad. Uh, wrong button. Doop. There we go. Alright, so I have a portable miner set up on the limestone and the copper. Uh, do you want to keep working on the upgrades while I get some stuff automated? Yes. What do you need for concrete? Oh, um, so concrete, you just need the limestone. Okay. Um, I can go ahead and put that in. I've got a little bit in my, in my inventory. Alright. There we go. Uh, what do I need for a constructor? We need wire and we need iron, reinforced iron plates. Uh, let's get some screws. And we'll get a pair of these. Get any iron for that? Do you what now? Iron for that. Um, we've got a whole bunch of iron in the miner. Did you see where the portable miner is? Yes. Yeah, just go ahead and grab some from there and throw it in the smelter. Oh, there's a bunch in the smelter, actually. Yeah, we got 76 in the smelter ready to go. Other smelter. There you go. <laughs> hey, you smart. The one on the right is set up for uh, copper. Yep, 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 yep. I remember. Literally told me. Um... What do I want to automate? I could just straight up automate concrete. Let's automate iron plates, and then we can also automate Congratulations. the. Congratulations! You have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Ninth objective: complete hub upgrade five. Note: portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. I have the concrete for that, and I can actually get the wiring done. Or cabling. Right. I, got, I got the bars. If we get through these six upgrades, then everything starts unlocking a lot quicker for us. That's yeah, when you can right actually there. automate in earnest. Well, that thing's huge. What are you looking at? The big walker thing just went by our, our hub. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like super tall, and then you, you tap them with your zapper and they go running like crazy. Watch for your... Don't miss it up. I'm bringing some ore back. 
I brought a couple miners too. Excellent. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. How do you um, use mini equipment? How do you what now? Place the miner. Um, so you have to put it in your hands and then put it down. So you'll have to replace the Xeno Zapper. Later on, you're going to get more oh. hand slots. Okay. But yeah, watch it. It's It's got like a little eyeball and everything. It's kind of fun. The uh, miner itself when you place it. Got a little animation. Yes, uh, right. I was actually going to work on the wiring. That's what I was doing. And we'll do that. <laughs> uh, that's actually enough. And I'll go ahead and make the concrete now just to be done with it. Oh, we've got more iron I can put in there. I'll definitely make sure that we do that. Alright, I have the wire. Hub has been upgraded. Holy crap. Uh, we need a lot of stuff for this one. Congratulations. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective, complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. There are no notes. The cake is a lie. Excellent. <laughs> I am getting the rods, and uh, I think I've actually got plates automated to an extent. In that little constructor. I see. Cool. Uh, do this. All right, rods are done, and then I'll go ahead and grab the copper and start working on the wire. You grabbed the copper, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It's being melted. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm great. Make it wire. Yes. Wire, 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 wire. Okay, I have some. Let me go grab more copper ore. Yeah. Coordination, comrade. <laughs> so, there was actually a big update a little while ago where they added um, a world grid. Meaning... Yeah. Rather than having everything go every which way, you can actually coordinate your builds. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's going to be on like the same tile system. Mm -hmm. So the nice thing is, we could be building in different parts of the world and have our stuff actually match up if we wanted to. You can still build, like, freestyle. Um, it just won't match up to the world grid. Yeah. I get what you mean. Um... Oh, you actually have the wiring, so all we need is the plates. Yes. Oh, we can actually get our miners going. Miner. Yeah, so we have actually unlocked oh. the ability to make the standard miners Whoa. that just sit there. Nice, so we can just take out the other ones, right? Yeah, so you actually need the other ones. I see that. You, need, you still need them. So you can pick up the miner. It'll pick up the miner and all of the ore with it. Also, I need plates and I need concrete. So, womp womp. Back to the smelter. Exactly. 
I grabbed all the iron things. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> and something I can do really quick. No, I can't. Okay, hang on a minute. Have to handcraft a couple things. We'll make a few iron plates, and then we'll be able to go ahead and start making a few storages. So how's the leg feeling? Hmm, pretty good right now. <laughs> I don't feel it. That's good. So this is going to be a little bit janky, but it will work. Hey, Rob, we we'll play Factoria. It's all right. Yeah, right. Okay, you can now put iron in that big old crate. Uh, need a burrito. Put that there, pick this up. Oh gosh! Shoot! It scared the shit out of me. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> that <looks> cool. <laughs> oh, just wait, dude. We're not even there yet. I know. It's gonna, it's be gonna... Even better. It will be insane. Um, I can actually throw copper in here. Uh, so we really need iron plates to go ahead and finish this thing yep. up. Uh, I got sixty-four. I know. All right. Wait, no. I there. have. 14. <laughs> yeah, I'll actually focus on getting that done now. Uh, put that there. So we need six more. Let's see if it's in here. Hey, look at that. Six. <laughs> Yoink. Hey, get out of here. All right, here we go. Here it comes. Check this out, dude. Look up. Congratulations. You have unlocked building space elevator, building biomass burner, part biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit oh, Incorporated, man, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub oh, terminal yeah, has elevator. been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. There you go. <clears throat> Note. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <coughs> Pretty much. So we can make extra biomass burners on our own now. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Mazin, yeah, I don't know what any board. of that means because I don't speak uh, Portuguese, but welcome. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start queuing up things for us that are going to be important, like, I think, logistics. Now, what we need to do, first and foremost, is we should set up a miner on the iron. So we need 10 iron plates, and I need to go ahead and make some concrete.
do, 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 do. Oh, we can also make biomass now. So leaves and wood you can turn into biomass, and it's more efficient on the uh, biomass burners. Okay. And we're going to automate that process, too. Heck is that? Fact. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Um, I'm stuck with here. So we have that started. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and make some rods, too. Actually, no, we really just need plates. Are we going to give some? Give you something? Oh. Yeah, I think you can drop them in front of me. Or something. No, maybe? Actually, I don't know. Oh, yeah, concrete. So you just uh, drag and drop it off of your inventory screen. Hi. Oh. All right, there we go. Um, now. Smelter. That's a driller. <laughs> yes, it is. And that's just the Mark 1. So I'm going to need a smelter as well. Let's get the iron rods going. All right, and we're going to go ahead and run over here. Uh, let's get this. That's all hooked up. And then we're going to need storage container. Ah, we need more rods. So, first thing I'm going to set up is some rod production over here. Because we desperately need it. Um, speaking of... Do I have... Uh-oh. Give me those. Give me that. If I can automate the plates and the rods, we'll be in a good spot. Uh, constructor. Yeah, we might have taken those... Um, mine... Might have taken the miners down just a little too soon. <laughs> I can bring them back. Yeah, I think we need to because I need a uh, constructor now. Do you happen to have enough stuff to make a uh, a pair of the reinforced iron plates? In the crafting menu, right? I think I'm with the crafter. Right, right. Uh, just throw those in there. Nice to meet you. Got it. Do what now? Did you get it? <laughs> no, I did not. Oh. Uh, no. I got I was... one second. I'm just doing some other stuff in the background right now. You're good. If all we did is, uh, if you just want to set up all the miners on the iron so that we can go ahead and fill the crate going to the uh, smelter, that'd make a big difference. I'm going to craft a whole bunch of wire and probably put, I'll probably have enough excess to go ahead and do the logistics. Well, at least the wire for the logistics. There, you got five miners over here. Nice. Yeah, if you can just keep unloading them and dumping it into that crate, that'd be huge. Yep. 
Zug, zug. <laughs> work, work. I mean, not that kind of work. <laughs> the only downside to this game is handcrafting is not like pocket crafting in uh, Factorio. You're just sitting there, staring at the little screen, and just watching the little hammer. Ding, 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 ding. More iron. God, you're mm. stupid. Oh, the no sticks are in there. Nine, nine, nine. She's playing from scratch. What are you saying? Uh, don't even worry about it, bud. <laughs> I'll actually have just enough wire to do the first thing for logistics. And I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of screws. All right. <clears throat> yeah, one two three, 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 one two three. Uh, do you have any iron rods? Mm. Go fish. Yeah, thirteen. Oh, toss. Toss me. Yes. Ta freaking da. And this will now make iron rods. Ta da. Now, all I need to do is connect you. Damn it, I have no cables. I'm making some more. Oh, a lot of more. How much cable do you need? Uh, I don't need much. I'm crafting it right now. Okay. No, no. I'm making my wire then. Alright, there we go. Wait, what? Hmm? I thought it just needed cabling, but I apparently need copper wire as well? For what? Um, to drag power lines. Yeah, I totally don't remember that being a thing. It's okay. I can make that too. Oh gosh. Anna would be like obnoxious if you had to do it this way. Just Anno in first person mode to gather everything. Ugh. That would drag on forever. Uh, connect that there. All right, so we have our first miner powered. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this constructor, and I'm going to get rid of the, well, no, nah, I'll leave the smelter up. But that is a fully automated process, so now we will have iron rods doing their thing over there. Okay. Um, while that's doing that...
Okay, I have... I need to add you, you, and you. That's the thing you can do, by the way. Um, when you're in the builder, like to build the constructors, smelters, miners, all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. there's a little pu uh, plus button over each one. You can make a queue list, so you make a shopping list for what you need. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to pick up one of these miners. Yeah, for steel plates. I actually think I have everything I need, so I'm going to pick all of these up. make iron ingots. This will make iron plates. And you... Ooh, I'm just short a few rods. Well, good thing they're being built next to a... Exactly. Alright, so this will smelt the iron... This will make the plates, and the plates go into the storage crate, and I zap the alien to make it run away. In that order. This is an absolute mess, but I've done it. Hey, ma'am. I've seen your factorial work. Oof. I'm not sure if that's saying that it was a mess or that it was good. <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's factorial. <laughs> it's, it's jungle sometimes. I like how in our on trees, we just kind of gave up. Everything became spaghetti. And it was amazing <clears> to me. It's just a spaghetti nightmare. I love how anatomically incorrect that damn alien is. Like, it's just... It's just... It should be falling over. It should not have legs that function. Look at its I know, legs. I I'll they... It should be falling over. Plain old spaghetti arms. Ugh, let's not stare at it. <laughs> the longer you stare at it, the more you want to kill it. The much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dismantle the smelter that's working on copper and move it. Actually, uh... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the other thing that we need is concrete. The sooner I get that automated, the sooner it's gonna save our butts. Oh, dude, I took, like, all of your miners. Alright. I mean, you know what you're doing, or a lot more. Here, this is going to be our common chest. It's like all over the random stuff we can just go ahead and put there. Um, damn, I need plates. Say about making biomass again? So you can make biomass in uh, a bench. Uh huh. Wood. He said, yeah, in. Yeah, it's just wood and what you call it. Um, but you could also do constructors to do it. So you could have like a chest that you put wood into, a chest that you make uh, that you put leaves into, have those leading to a pair of constructors to make biomass and then have all the biomass going into a chest. Um, in a little bit here, when we unlock this next milestone, Logistics, you'll get mergers and splitters. <laughs> um, I need one more. Shoot.
but yeah, there's a pretty easy way to go ahead and like um to make all that stuff. Like you'll make all the biomass merge it in one crate and then have that biomass go to another assembler that will make a more efficient version of biomass. We're not quite there yet. We haven't unlocked it, but it's not too far yeah. away. Okay. Yeah, I guess you could say that, Gizborn. But still, fast. there's like, there's like alien, and then there's like functional alien. I'm not I sure I tend to be a bigger fan of like aliens that seem like they could actually be real. Oh no. He was broke. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch it. It's probably just out of power. Like out of fuel. All the more reason to start feeding it better fuel. Yarr. Um, so yeah. Let's just go ahead and make a buttload of biomass and then start putting I that am. in. Okay, I cool. That's what literally I was just doing. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, E.T. There you go. And he does eventually phone home. Unlike the aliens that I encounter because I just killed them. I have flipped the switch. Okay, honestly, I don't really know why it shut down. I have literally no clue. <clears throat> that's literally what it said, a fuse trip. Yeah, that's what it says whenever you have any kind of problem. Like, any problem with power whatsoever, out of fuel, um too much production, you know, any of that stuff will cause that to happen. Mm -hmm. It's like their generic go-to. Yeah. Uh, constructor. You make concrete. Goddamn stealth bomber. <laughs> stealth bomb. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the flying thing and the, the yeah, yeah man. The great shape for a stealth bomber. <laughs> Fucking stealth bomber, dude. Hey man. <laughs> That's the first thing that came through my mind. It's like, hey, whoa. <laughs> when they left up to the raider. <laughs> Uh, uh or your mic B goes. B3 Xeno Spirit. Uh. Apparently you can ride the damn thing. Huh. I think Kibis was the one that did that. I saw a video where he did that and like he I mean, bounced yeah. he bounced off of the big blob alien that's been chasing around here and because you can literally bounce on top of them um and flew all the way up in the air and landed on top of the damn thing hilarious I mean, look at that thing it looks like a goddamn slot that would carve a bomb on us <laughs> well they are talking about changing up the aliens a little bit so that would be perfect because that's perfect. Like, look at that. Let me cover bomb. Mm. <laughs> it does. Ha you know, actually, you know what it reminds me of? Mm. Did you play any StarCraft 2? Yeah. Um, you remember the new Broodlords that, like, launched little Broodlings? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's got those little things flying around it. Oh, that's a drop. 
Say what now? <laughs> okay, we're here to the edge of the light, like the, the arch for the. That's a drop. Oh, yeah, we're technically on, like, the edge of the world. So, this is, like, the southwest corner of the map. Mm -hmm. If you go north a little ways, there's a huge wraparound waterfall. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a lot of. Oh, no, it's just two of them. I don't know why, but I have very creepy ambient music going on right now. Are, are you okay? I pissed off the natives. What, why would you do that? What, what have know. you pissed off? Nothing. Where, where'd it go? As it's stopped chasing me, we're good. <laughs> hey man, let's explore. I got used to the concept of putting shit in my hands, you know. Aww. Again. So, I finally got to the point where we've gone beyond what our power can hold, so we're going to need to build another biomass burner. Okay. And Basa going to sell three islands without even having, without even having one island. How do you manage that if you don't have the goods to settle them? Because don't you need to have the one island in the middle to start uh, creating the the bricks? Because it's the mud bricks. Uh, do you have enough wire and stuff to place it? No, it's just the uh, looking... I have... How much wire does it need? <clears throat> it's like 25 wire. I have enough. Here. Ta-da! And hang on one second. Need a cable to connect those. Unless you have it, and you can connect it really quick. Uh, yeah. He will keep giving you supplies. Really? And you cancel the main storyline. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can do this. I believe in you, Gort. Uh, so just press 2 instead of 1. And then click on one, and then click on the other. Every like, time I click it, goes over. So you just click it once, and then it'll show a pole, but then you can mouse over another pole and click the pole, and it'll connect. So... Wait, no, you had it, you had it. So, once you've clicked that... I see that, man. Do you have the cable? Ah, why does it keep doing that? Every time I click it, <laughs> change it. So, you only need to click it once. My nugget is betraying me. I totally don't understand what it's doing to you. I don't either. Okay, so press 2. Alright, so it looks like you got it selected. So you're going to mouse over the thing and click it once. Don't do anything else. Or like here, up on the top, right? Yeah, A anywhere on it. Okay, now see that pole that's popping up? That's an yeah. option to place it. Now you're just going to mouse over this pole instead... And it'll let you build the wire to it. Oh my god. So the reason it does that is it lets you build uh, a connecting power the, pole or there just... another one, existing one to extend it into it. I see. There, okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm sorry, Rob. I really am. It's uh, okay. I know you're high. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best part being <clears throat> attached ligament right now. My leg's trying to heal. So of course it's kind of hurt. So I should explain to the chat that you are severely injured with leg pain. Uh, and I'm on some pretty powerful painkillers right now, guys. Which is what is making this so much more fun. Oh, hello. Someone's... 
Shit. Yeah, poor Gort. He's he's in a lot of pain. I give him a hard time, but he's definitely uh, he's in a recovery mode right now. No, no, he hurt his leg. Um, he has a torn ligament in his knee, so yeah, he like he has to have surgery and everything. He's laid up in a cast and the whole nine yards. Not so much a man flu. Not so much a man flu. Okay, so what is this now? If you keep out of heaps of your supply, you get a clipper with 50 wands of wood and 8 bricks. Archie won't come. You get a foreign settlement on his isle. Huh. Oh, I didn't force him to play. He's laid up, so he wants to play right now. He needs a distraction. This was this is like a cooperative idea. I did not force this. <clears throat> I mean, hell, what would you do if you were laid up with a busted leg and nothing to do? I'd want to play games. Take some good pain meds, chill out, be great. Mm, there we go. <coughs> yeah, Anno for days, absolutely. Nothing but Anno. Oh, that only uses 15 per minute. That's making 30 per minute, 30 per minute, and 60 per minute. Wow. So this one alone, it's a normal node. We could supply two smelters. That'd be pretty good. So we got some wire going. Do I want to make anything else? Actually, right now, I think we can go ahead and start working on upgrading uh, the next milestone. We should have some stuff here. <clears throat> uh, barely. Let's run over to the smelter. We can go ahead and dismantle it after we get this started. Or can we? Alright, let's do this instead. Give it an endpoint. Um Oh, I've got all that copper ore that I can get rid of. I can go ahead and drop it in the smelter. Actually I might not be able to. Let's add another smelter. And we'll connect you here. Copper ingot, and I'll just throw a bunch of that in there. On Discord? Okay, awesome. I'll check them here in a second. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, I like that layout that you have there. That's a great little layout. Oh man, look at all that Wanza wood. Huh. Cool. Um, let's see. I think I have just enough. Yeah, 
yeah, I like the modification that you did to it. Having little central um milestone reached. Conveyor what do you call belts it? can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Excellent. Oh no, Gort didn't get to see the launch because he stepped away. Well, hobbled away. That's mean. Still funny, but it's mean. Let's go ahead and add some ingots there. And you're fully loaded, so... Thirty per minute, thirty per minute. Yes, that's always gonna be full now. Even the university fits in. Oh, that's cool. And that's the great thing is you can make little modifications like that and have a ton of space. At this point I've just like kind of embraced the entire grid structure and just gone with it. But there is a lot that you could do. Um Let's get base building started. <laughs> I love how it just displays a giant power symbol. Um, what else can we do? Let's do what we can to power through this. We only need another 40 plates. Oh, how are we doing on concrete? Hey, you. Go away. Uh, 100 concrete. Not bad. Not great. Let's make it more efficient. Town hall in the palace. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking that the palace on uh, my Anno run, I'll probably go ahead and put that in the um, Cape Trelawney. We'll go all out at Cape Trelawney. second guys step away so we have a little less noise um big 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 news big news big news big news where is it um steam wish list oh my gosh i forgot lion war released today um yeah i'm going to purchase that really quick because I definitely want to make a video about that later on today. And we'll go ahead and install that. Sweet. You might see lag for just a moment, but it's a small download. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Oh, it didn't actually give a release date. I thought there was a release date for uh, Captain of Industry, which is like a Anno slash, um, what do you call it? It's kind of like Anno 1800 meets Factorio. Um, Town Hall for right now, I'm kind of ignoring. Uh, later on, you'll be able to kind of put Town Halls, like you'll have to delete a few houses to add the Town Halls, but you can actually do it. Release date announcement. Hang on. Let's see what this actually says. Release date. May 31st. 
So we actually have an official launch date for Captain of Industry. So they just haven't updated um, Steam yet. But that's awesome. That's really, really cool. And now Line War has dropped as of 12.03. That was like two hours ago. So sweet. We've got some content that we can be making. Uh, let's go ahead and drop limestone in there. Pick up some of that. We're just letting all the plates do their thing. And I think I'm just going to be short on limestone for a little bit, unless I start... <clears throat> I could go ahead and, like, duplicate a few things. I might make another miner on another limestone. So we got a couple over there, one at 450. Let's head over this way. We're always going to need more concrete. Any critters nearby? No? Oh, hi. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. Are you stuck? Oh. That was kind of lame. This one is impure. Is there a pure node nearby? Or a normal node? Ooh, we got another. Ow. Alright, what do we have here? Normal. Really? I need concrete. <clears throat> You gotta have concrete to make concrete. Um, so, Gizworn, you know how I end up putting, like, I'll put a 16 by 16 grid, and then I will go ahead and add, like, little avenues. Like, I'll put a single space in between a 16 by 16 grid. So let's say, like, this, those little double roads with a single space in there are like a little avenue. I will usually place them along the avenue and then whatever space I need, like I'll just delete the houses in that corner or that segment and I'll go ahead and put it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we need to go ahead and grab a little bit more concrete. I think we'll just go ahead and focus on finishing up base building really quick, and then I'll work on getting more resources. Uh, 41. Is that enough? That'd be 60. No, we need 42. I wonder where Gort's gone. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. There it goes. <clears throat> it could be between four blocks, like it could be like dead center in between, like you've done with your marketplace. Uh um, or you could also just put it, like, on the side, like, or in a corner of a block. No worries, man. You feel better? Getting to the bathroom is an audaciously slow task. All on crutches. Gizborn in my chat was like, you're forcing him to play? I was like, no, he's no. bored. He wants to play. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> well, they got nothing else to do but lay around. Foreseeable. A couple of weeks. <clears throat> So I got a couple of things done. I see. Uh, I expected you to. <laughs> so you don't have to wait for me. Things that we can do now: we can make foundations. Mm -hmm. So that's the easy way to like snap things to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make the lookout tower. Mm -hmm. So let me show you that really quick. Ta da! Where? Oh, there you are. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what else can we do? Um. Oh, right. So now we can do conveyor mergers and splitters. So basically we have all of the most basic tools for setting up a permanent base. Mm -hmm. And we can kind of see where we're doing everything. So I think that the best thing that we can do now is grab these next couple of milestones. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go check. take a quick peek. Oh, gosh. I almost went flying. Let's hold it. Um, Good luck getting down. I know. I'll be fine. Just, don't don't gonna... don't break your legs. Yeah, I'll be alright. I need to eat this sandwich right quick. Anyway, I can take more medicine. Right. Anyway, hang on. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, let's see. I'm going to finish off these copper ingots just to get them out of my inventory and turn them into wire. Um, I might be able to actually throw that into something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If I go ahead and burn the last little bit of these ingots and whatnot now, then I don't have to worry about it. We'll automate everything else from here on out. Um, I should also automate the uh, biomass. Ba, 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 ba. In fact, speaking of, if I look at this milestone, what does this do? Um, be obstacle clearing might be better. This adds a hand slot in inventory slots. Oh, actually, that's better. Yeah, we'll just leave it on this. Um, and we can go ahead and grab all of the wire. So my overall goal right now, I would like to go ahead and get, um, kind of get everything automated, get the basics of a base started. And then I'd love to make a storage building so we can store all of the most basic stuff like, you know, copper wire, copper, um, cabling, uh, plates, rods, mm -hmm. screws, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's our plates. And we have everything automated, but it's not moving at like the most efficient pace. So we mm -hmm. should be able to actually bump this up a little bit soon. Also, we're not too far away from being able to get a uh, coffee mug. So then when either of us is AFK, we can sit there and be in the tower supervising each other. <laughs> oh, hi, Nelly. Oh, Miss Nelly has come to say hi. Hey, pupper. Do you guys want to see Nelly? Do you want to say hi to the pupper? Oh, hello. Are you talking to me or someone else? Back room. Oh, okay. 
I was like, you're welcome? Well, no. You guys will see the pupper? Okay, here's the pupper. Oh, oh you're so heavy. Oof. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Get rough. <laughs> I can make your chat 100% thirstier. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm oh, up. that's okay. I'm showing off the puppers right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, careful. Ow. Oh, nice and cold. Claws. Claws. Careful. Careful. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just a cuddle bug. She's so happy that I'm cuddling with her. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Ow. Claws, claws, claws. Ow. Okay. You're very sweet, but you dig your claws into me, and then I don't want to play with you anymore. Yes, I will wrestle with you. Uh, okay, so we made... I think we made enough screws. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. That sounds so wrong. Uh, and then we need to head over this way. <laughs> if I can get enough plates... Oh, I actually have enough. I can unlock the field research. And that's when we get the ma'am. And there we go. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. All right, so I need to get a few reinforced iron plates, and then I can actually go ahead and build the man. Uh, which must are next? Um, obstacle clearing is already selected. Oh. <laughs> Answer that for yeah. you, Bert. Yeah, I went ahead and selected that because it's important to get rid of all the trees. Hi. Yes, because they're in their way. They oh, you have a bone? Oh, you've got your bone. What a happy pupper. You know, if my dog ever sat still, I would totally set up a dog cam. But she never sits still. Hmm. It's a dog. This is true. Okay, so check out the ma'am. Hang on. Add biofuel. Oh no, she has the zoomies. <laughs> this is the ma'am. It's pronounced ma'am. Mm -hmm. So you throw things in here, it destroys them, but it unlocks new things. New recipe unlocked. New research available in the MAM. So I'm going to go ahead and toss in a power slug. And so there's a lot of basic things in here. Like some of it takes like special stuff. And mm -hmm. then some of it is like basic stuff like uh, iron rods, plates, wire, all that kind of stuff. New resource added to the resource scanner. Let's get some screws going. Oh my gosh, someone had a great idea. Give the dog a body cam. 
Uh, you know, we've joked about that. Like, my wife and I have joked about giving Nelly her own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And just, like, going out, exploring, give her a little uh, a puppy body cam. Put a vest on her with, a, like, a cam just over her head. <laughs> like a GoPro. Well, that quartz is way off there. Yeah, quartz is a little bit more rare. Well, I'm gonna head to it. Good grief, dog. Yeah, quartz is a cool thing to unlock because it gives you all kinds of useful, like, tech type stuff. Um, same thing with Caterium. Uh, sulfur gives you guns later on. <laughs> and explosives. You can blow up rocks. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to keep on, like, cranking through some of this stuff so that we can actually start making our main base. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Put the cabling in there. There's the rods. There's some plates and hey you. Uh, that actually covers everything. I think I have enough to go ahead and make everything I need for obstacle clearing. Are you ready for chainsaws? Yes. Good, because we're about there. Actually, while I'm crafting all these screws, I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the restroom. Serious. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. If it's a pocket dimension, how do you inflate a... Wait, what? <laughs> they kind of like... I got like a negative goes somewhere in the quantum world right there. No. Wow, that's way off here. Almost to it. Like almost six thousand four thousand. It's almost four thousand meters away. Not even. Is there a map? Oh well. It's stupid. 
far, see? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Why did it... Why did it send me all the way out here, then? That's kind of... Wow. I'm super far. Yeah, I'm over by that one, by the waterfall. <laughs> That's the only one that popped up for me at first. Wow. I found an artifact? Pretty creepy, I like that. <laughs> Your contract legally obliges you to collect this. Okay, creepy lady. Kills or spider things. Ah. Yeah, I'm in the cave. And you know what? I'll go back. Y'all, way too far. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Yep, yeah. come back. Okay. Yeah, just exploring. Fucking hilarious. And they're still chasing me. Uh, I will zap you. Zap. Ah. Beefy fuckers, you're dead. And my microphone has been off this entire time for the stream. But anyways, no. the very first thing that happened was I popped on um, and I was about to say hi to Bosch when he popped in to say hi to me. And I turned because she barked. And I was like, really? What's going on? Because I just spent two hours with her outside. And she barked once. And I was like, seriously? What's the deal? And she squatted over top of her bed and literally just peed a gallon. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. No, sounds like a duck. Yeah, she's still a puppy. She's working on that whole, like, letting us know things. And she, we had spent so much time outside. She was so distracted by everybody that was out there. Because, like, the lawn guys were out there. It was the whole nine yards. So, um, now that the lawn service is gone, I think we'll be able to go outside. And will you piddle for me? Yes, I think you will. So, be right back. I mean, he did want a dog, so... Oh, well, maybe alone. Finals have you two. Time's up. Mm -hmm. My hands.
Hola. Good job, Quark.
Ole. Okay. <sighs> All right. We're back. I'm back, buddy. Uh, you're good. I died. You you died. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. All right. <laughs> oh shit. Are you gonna be able to recover your stuff? Uh, working. I'm only. I only got three health bars. No equipment. Kind of huh. Uh, you want some help? Probably, but I was just I was gonna make some shit real quick with the nutrients. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Whatever you need to make, go ahead and do it. Um, I've got a bunch of nuts and berries that you can use to eat. New object added to the object scanner. I haven't seen one of those. The bacon. Here, eat this. Throw it in a hand slot and then just start eating. And we have two hand slots now, so you could have the gun in one and uh, berries in the other or nuts in the other. Well, I don't have any equipment, so. Uh, let's go ahead. So right here in the equipment workshop, you can go ahead and make yourself a new Xeno Zapper. All right. Okay, we're making all that, so I'm just going to collect it. Yeah, we've got a ton of stuff there, so. Uh, let's grab this. Nice. Got our chainsaw. And now I just need some biofuel. Let's make a few. Oh, yeah. I have a chainsaw. So, uh, did you scream or something when you died? Oh. Oh, really? Uh, I was just trying to put together why my chat was raffling. It could have been the last thing I said, like, you know, whatever I said about the pup, or it could have been you dying, I don't know. Oh, no. I said, no, oh, you did want to die. All right. Oh, it, it was about to pop. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, now that I got the chainsaw, I can kind of clear off this little plateau that we're on. tree right here. Are we not increasing cable yet? Um, not cable, but we do have wire. Okay, next year. So you can pick up a whole bunch of wire and then make a few cable? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's over here by me. I already got it. Oh, okay. Uh, Gizborn, I don't think I can. I would have... To... He would have to be streaming. And then... My tool. I'd have to link it somehow. So, sadly, I don't think I can do that. Like, I know on Twitch, if you're streaming, you could do, like, a, um, um, a squad stream. But I actually can't even do that because I'm not partnered on Twitch. I am an affiliate on Twitch, but only partners can do that. So, kind of a moot point there. In game, yeah, no, it's not an option in game, sadly. If it were, I would definitely do something to at least give you guys something more interesting to look at. Since I picked up all the copper. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what do you do now? I'm gonna make the cable since I picked up all the wire. Oh, okay. Like that. So these are both normal, aren't they? That's a normal node. And that's a normal node. So these two are 120 the iron. I think it's going to overheat. Hey, Cart, it's not real life. <laughs> yeah, give the people what they want. There you go. That's all I ever try and do, Gizborn. I never really make it there, but I try. Uh, let's see where I can put my foundation. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think we'll go with that. So now we just need a whole lot more of everything. Yeah, I try and give the people what they want, but it's like, I never have the time. I always have something else that goes wrong. Something always goes wrong.
We had a good several episodes where nothing went wrong, though. That was kind of nice for five minutes. Oh, are we out? Mm, I might get one more slice. Nice. into the mountain. Did I build any further than that? Like, did I actually lose a couple? No, we're actually okay. Let us screw What's screwy? <laughs> Says let us screw <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> 500 room can be exact. Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Uh... Oh, a riot emote? Oh, that would actually be that really cool. I do need to make some more emotes made. How do emotes work out on uh, on YouTube? Can you have custom emotes? I know you can have custom... Where do you custom... find the bacon thing? Oh, the bacon agaric? Uh, you find that in, like, caves. Caves. Or near, near water. Washer. Copy. So, like, you'll find, like, some rivers and stuff, and there will be a ton of it nearby. Alright. That's a weird... <laughs> What's it called? It's called bacon. Oh, it does look like bacon. Yeah, I don't know if there's custom emotes on... Bacon. Yeah, because I have some emotes on Twitch, but I'm thinking about just moving away from Twitch completely, because... There's just not a whole... The discoverability on it is awful. And with everything that they're doing recently, it sounds like they're really starting to screw people over. Wow. No, Gort, you're not getting carpet bombed. <laughs> Are you watching out for the damn alien again? No, I just saw it in the corner of my eye. And just the profile, the way it comes in, it's like, oh, I'm about to get carpet bombed. My Gort, just, <laughs> what are you talking about? Game over, man. Game over. Hey, man. If, it's, if they can bleed, we can kill them. Oh, my gosh. Come on, no. That's why they call me a security detail. I hear strolling through the forest collecting berries and shit. Yeah, it's like you go between playing Factorio and then just like uh, Stardew Valley. Right. Little, little stroll through the woods. I'm not even mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Ain't the drug squirt. Probably both. I'll make sure of everything, but this game's pretty. <laughs> it really is. Hey, oh, you're going to not tell me it's not pretty. It is pretty. Okay, okay. See? But yes, I am being an enhanced, but anyway, it's not the point. Fuck you, bird. He is ah. feeling the effects, chat. He's got that good stuff. So I got my first platform set up. Are are you okay? Yeah, I found one of the fire dudes. I found some wreckage. Oh yeah, the wreckage is cool. It adds uh, you get hard drives from them. He's shooting fireballs at me. Just trying to take him out. Fuck you, buddy. So the wreckage gives you hard drives. You plug the hard drive into the MAM and research it, and then when it's done, you have alternate, uh, alternate, alternate recipes. Them things are hard to kill. Yeah, they have a lot more health. Mm. 
Here we go. Repairs needed. Needs 40 megawatts. Got a drop, oh, drop pod here. It needs power. So yeah, you uh, supply them with power, and then you once you supply it with power, you'll be able to open up and get the hard drive out. Michelle Thorne, how's it going? Should be doable with the uh, just one biomass, right? With what now? That should be doable with one biomass. Uh, you probably will need two. That's like off kilter. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, so uh, next thing we want to do. For it, learn. Those are normal, so we're getting 120. So we'll need at least four smelters for this. Uh, yeah, it's a server, so I am playing with a buddy of mine. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily a, uh, it's not a server server. It's being played on my PC, but yes. I don't have any concrete. Warp. Okay. Place now, here. oh, how did I... Oh, I can uh... go back to a bench. Oh gosh, I have forgotten how conveyor lifts work. Um, I'm gonna get my stuff. I'll come back to it. I remember where it was. Uh, Michelle, it's just me and Gort right now. This is gonna be just a. Uh, he's a good friend of mine for years and years and years, so it's not necessarily a uh, public satisfactory for everybody. A nice chill. But you're very welcome to just kind of hang out with us and chat, give us ideas. Um, we're in the very early stage of the game, so. Yeah, what are you doing? You know, rather than do that, I think I'm just going to grab you. And we'll take you right up know. there. It's just, you know, I see him. Huh. Bad emotes? Okay, cool. I'll check it out, Kisborn. Uh, let's get a splitter. What's that, Court? Can you equip two stun tons? <laughs> um, no, you can just equip the one, but later on you can uh, get an upgraded one. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, later on you go from a little stun rod to you get a uh, giant stun stick. It's like a baton. <laughs> and it's actually a pretty hefty upgrade. Be funny though, do building. Tons, uh, super tons. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes, and it plays Darude Sandstorm while you whack things with it. <laughs> I don't go that far, but all right. <laughs> uh, let's actually. I fell. I like oh, I need cable. We'll find the bacon. All right, Michelle, take it easy. I've uh, got that. Great. I found Respect, one of the how's it going? Is to make the enemies chase you near the edge. Chase them to the edge and watch them go flying. Toro, Toro. Yes, you can absolutely launch them off the side of the cliff and just watch them fall to their death. It's kind of awesome. Pretty much. I've done a lot of that. Like, your pathing is broken. Hang on. <laughs> What's going on, Respect? How are you doing today? I mean, I can spot it. Zap, 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 zap. Ah. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that you would just end up getting, like, really into the exploration aspect of the game. Yeah. And the great thing is, I could sit here and I could just keep on working on the base while you're just out there exploring and finding stuff because there's plenty of stuff that you can unlock out there. Mm -hmm. What do you use your other hand? Oh, um, scroll wheel. Oh, makes sense. 
You know I, was what like, I, meant too. <laughs> I was like, damn, how are those meds treating you? You know what I meant? I was like, how do you. Well, they're... Yeah, okay. You can, you can equip two things. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah, water. Water, water. Go, go back to the cave. Alright, that's 60 per minute. And set you for iron ingots. Set you for iron ingots. That's set up. And that's set up. Great. So that's uh, 369. 12. Now we can't put all of that on one conveyor belt. We could start with the one. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with the one. I'm going to merge everything. Do I have those, like, too far to the back? No, it's actually right. And run a belt out here. Lo and behold, I have found the bacon. <laughs> behold, bacon. Oh no, not the power. <laughs> okay, so... The Gort's quest has been refilled. Gord is having way too much fun doing this. You'll make iron plates, and... If I do two of those... I could do a third one. Let's do a third. So that's going to take 120. Oh. Hey, Rob. Yes. Got the fast move down. You did. You what now? I got the fast move down. Oh, like how to slide? Yeah. Excellent. Put you there. And I'm going to need another splitter. Connection lost. Oh. We might have lost TeamSpeak here. Connected. Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just as I say, I put it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh no. No, it's just re rebooting. All right. Guarantee. So I have 120 iron per minute. I'm using 90, so I have another 30 left. Okay. I'm mathing. Oh, Lord. Keep me away from it. I know. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I already am. Yeah. The M word. Not math. The M word. Billy math once. Then he ate 26 apples. You don't do that normally, man. <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> 26 apples. Hey man, little stupid ass math questions, am I wrong? Oh gosh. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly okay. parts okay. can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. <laughs> Let me know when that connects. I want to see that drop. There we go. Uh, do what now? Let me know when you build the space elevator. I want to see that drop. I'm back. Oh yeah, because it looks so good. Yes, I just, I've seen like once, but I want to see it in person. 
It's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Like, as far as game animations go, it's probably the single best game animation. I'm sliding my ass back home. Um, I'm working on building our first major factory area. Uh, let's build a little craft bench over here. Which, ironically, requires a lot of screwing. <laughs> You're a bad influence on me, you know that? Yep. It's okay. Ah, oh, gosh. You'll be alright. We're first things in life. This is true. Like, broken legs. Yes, I'm... I'm terrible. Okay. Our first true foundation. Uh, yeah, and look at all the machines I'm building. Uh, I need so much stuff. But, like, once I'm done with that, it's going to be instead of one machine building uh, iron plates and one machine building iron rods, it's going to be three and two. I've come back with the bacon. Excellent. Put the bacon in the ma'am. It's ma'am. I'm sorry, that's all I can think of is the the individual going into GameStop. Mm -hmm. It'll never get old. Let's actually connect you here. Okay. And we'll connect that. Excellent. Now you I'd like to go ahead and move this over. Oh, any more concrete? Hmm. Dude, we so need to make a concrete factory. That's going to be one of my early goals, just gathering a metric shit ton of limestone to make nothing but concrete. Ugh, really? I'm out of cables. Uh, oh, wait. Can I? Yes, I can. By the way, I dropped a couple of things there in the, uh, the little crate by the ma'am. <laughs> so if you need any of that stuff, grab it. Bink. All right, not too bad. Um, I would like to go ahead and start making... Hang on, let me picture this for a second. Oops. Oh, Gordon, you're the dumb. 
Why are you the dumb? Yeah, no, don't worry about it. I'll fix. I both find that soothing and concerning. Don't worry about it. Nothing to see. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do I actually have? I have concrete. I have cabling and wire. So I need some plates, and I'm going to need some reinforced iron plates. Grab all of this. Grab all of that. And you know what? Dismantle. And we will have all the miners that we can do stuff with. Excellent. I would like to add a few foundations over here. Uh, let's grab you. And we'll go ahead and do some ramps. Let's say, like, oof. I'd like to hide the grass. Actually, that's not too bad. And we'll connect right here. And we're out of concrete. Excellent. Um, so just out of curiosity, if I were to go ahead and make a craft bench, Make a whole bunch of screws, we'll make some reinforced iron plates. We're gonna need at least six. So let's go ahead and get those built now. Alright, you know what? Let's just say we had these side by side. You can delete that one and move it over a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to need a couple of constructors. We'll combine those have a single constructor here and then we'll need another storage container but we don't have the plates for it so let's grab some more plates um, I'm creating a little section that will automate all of our production of biofuel perfect I'll just mess around with my inventory and clearing it up yeah yeah Alright, so this one will be biomass for leaves. This one will be biomass for wood. Let's hop over. And this one is going to be solid biofuel. And then we need a merger. Merger. There we go. Uh, let's do this. One, two. I think we're there. So leaves here. Wood there, right? Yep. And all of that should merge, and we should be able to put biomass in here. 
And then I do need to add... Let's see, where is it? Let's go ahead and put a biomass burner right here. I'm going to do like a little corner of them. Uh, let's throw the solid biofuel in there. I'm guessing the solid biofuel is better. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and the solid biofuel is going to be the best fuel that we have up until the point that we get coal. But you're always going to need solid biofuel for your chainsaw. Although, I don't know, does it run off of anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Play no more. You know what, I'm actually going to do a thing here. Show me a merger. Merge that there. Merge that there. And then I need a storage container. And let's make sure it's in line. All right, check it out, dude. Um, actually, hang on one minute. Their factory, nice. Yeah, so uh, I'll show you exactly how this one works as soon as I get it plugged in. Uh, where are you? Coming up. Ah, okay. Uh, you won't. Well, you might be able to get it from that side. There you go. All right. So if you come back here. This box right here is for wood. This box over here is for leaves. And from those, it takes it to the two constructors that turn it into basic biomass, because it's two different recipes. Um, there's an extra box here that it is used to put any, like, if you already had uh, biomass, you could go ahead and drop it in here. Oh, wow. And then when it's done, it takes all of it to that uh, machine, which makes a solid biofuel. So, pretty basic machine, but gets everything going. Yeah, and so we, put on my biomass there. And we can just leave this going for ever and ever. And I think it's enough to power 10 biomass burners. Mm -hmm. But after that point in time, we'll be like, we'll easily be ready to do uh, coal. I like the details, but I don't think the, the planet should be orbiting that fast. Pretty fast for an orbit. Uh, where is it? Are well, you talking about the... Wrong. This could be a small little last asteroid. I mean, it could be. Probably fucking wrong. We're not small little planet. Small little has an atmosphere. Which planet are you watching? The one behind us. The big kind of orangish tannish yeah. one yeah there's another one on the other side it's a big black one and that's that's that feels right that doesn't that one doesn't move uh, fast. oh yeah i see it moving it's very that's very it. it's creeping but you can see it's actually moving pretty quick that's not a saying it should be moving that fast but night hit with how should be going insanely fast but night also shouldn't be going in like 10 minutes so no, no, no. Why, why, why are we questioning every again? <laughs> That's the question I should be asking. Goddamn, Gordon. 
Hey, you're the one with the good drugs. Pretty much, man. Can't deny that, man. Oh, uh, Gort. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to let this roll for a little bit. Do we have enough? Oh, we got a ton of wood there. I'm getting a little low on leaves. Do we have enough backed up? Oh yeah, we do. So what I could do, let's take a little bit of solid biofuel and we'll head out and start chopping more trees. Bauxite. Oh, you found bauxite? Yes. Huh. We won't need that for a very long time, but good to find. I am clearing the world of all trees and leaves. Cats up in the blind across from me, and I can't hear anything about it. Hurry. <laughs> I stealth bomber. I'm gonna call you a Tupolev. Did you see you call him Tupolev? Yeah. Oh, gosh. The early morning sun is making my eyes twitch. The sun, dummy. I'm not. It's just in the background. It's just there. Well, uh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's gonna hurt. Haha, uh -huh, made you die. Uh oh. All right, got one. Come here, buddy. Bring it. Bring it. All right, not bad. Try to pick up the limestone. Excellent. Doesn't look good. This does not appear correct. Hmm. Toxic. Yeah, it's toxic. Woo! Oh, drop. oh <laughs> did you run into some green gas? Yeah, that's toxic gas, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, You do get a gas mask later. I figured as much, but it's just an obstacle for right now. You also get rad suits. <laughs> yes, because radiation looks bad. Um, speaking of rads, is there gas here? Tick, 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 tick. Oh, I found a uh, toxic gas area. Yeah, that's still so bad for them conscripts. Poor fuckers are digging in the freaking <laughs> red forest. 
Yeah, I don't know uh, who thought that was a good idea. They didn't tell him anything. They just told him to capture the objective and dig in. That's oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's the best way they have the position logistically. What is set up here? Hey, isn't there some story about this place, comrade? Hey, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah. Digging a foxhole in Chernobyl just doesn't seem like a great idea. Mm, they're gonna have some short lives. Very painful lives, too. <laughs> hey, look, I found all this old stuff buried. It's all in Russian. It says radiation. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm going ahead and keeping a whole bunch of leaves and wood. Mm -hmm. Stockpiling this whole thing. Figured the longer I can keep this running, the longer we'll be able to keep our base online by just feeding everything in. I uh, will go ahead and split that. <laughs> oh, of course. I like the 3D scan you get, though. So I got a capacity of 120. All right, oh, I'm gonna connect radiation. up the entire oh, oh. base. That's uranium. That's uranium. Oh, you actually found uranium? Yes. I can tell from the glow. I'm not getting near that. I can tell from the glow. No, because <laughs> if you're in near anything radioactive like that, the light will, the gamma radiation will ionize the particles around you. That's how intense that fucking shit is. No. Oh. It's doing the flash effect. I see it. Oh, dude, I think I just powered this whole damn system up. Hey, let me explain the deaths of these caves. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm right. Just don't lose anything important like power slugs, anything that we can't replace. Oh, well, I haven't found any one of those. What do you need, like blue power slugs? Um, you need all of them. Uh, the blue are the basic ones. Green are the ones above that, and then yellow or gold are the best ones. And the higher tier they are, the more, um, what are they, power conduits or something like that that you can turn them into? How the fuck are you supposed to get to them when they're on the ceiling? Uh, ramps. Or jetpack. Okay. That, that, that thing looks slow, man. Woo! Power shards, that's what they turn into. So basically, gonna kill the power shards, you can then overclock things. It's That's like Beacons in Factorio. <sighs> so about to die. I'm so about to die. Mm. Actually, I could oh, almost I unlock Ooh. overclocking. Can't quite do nutrients. Mm, if I had enough wire, we could expand the tool belt. Actually, that's really you useful. Just make ramps up to it. Yeah, you can just go ahead and make a whole bunch of ramps. You just need concrete and uh, iron. So if you go to... Yeah, I see him. Oh, I almost have a thousand. How long has that been without power, I wonder? I killed a very angry looking bug. That was scary. Actor alert? What do you mean, Gisborne? You find the actor for, uh... For Anno? Uh... How are we looking? throw you in there instead. And... Yeah, it's loaded with biomass, too. 
Oh, very cool. Everybody swears by the actor. I don't know why. I just don't get super excited for the actor because I'm usually just like, oh gosh, now that means I have to actually go through. I have to go ahead and set up a town hall. I have to cover as many people as possible. And there's always like one or, one or two houses that you miss. Uh, let's see how many foundations I can go ahead and add. And it's going to start overlapping here, but that's okay. Um, this was a normal node, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so this is producing it 60 per minute. This is only using 30, so we could actually have two smelters running at the same time. Right. So I could make this entire area more efficient if I wanted to. Mm. Oh, you know, I have all this stuff being created, but... Uh, I need Logistics Mark II to make this actually work. Wah wah. Okay. Oh damn, I don't have any more concrete. Fuck. <laughs> I almost got up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that, Gisborne. I'll come back. That does make sense. I'm obviously not prepared for this. I'm way too deep. Yeah, it, uh, it amps up pretty quick. I see that. That thing nearly killed me, but I got it. Oh, and there are some special enemies out there, too. They're, yes. like, mega size. I figured. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I need you more concrete. Push Everything the boundaries. Excellent cave exploration. Uh, let's go ahead and throw you in there. I almost have everything that I need for Logistics Mark II. If I can get Logistics Mark II, I could start upgrading some of these belts and then make that whole new factory that I created a little bit more efficient. Uh, drop that in there. Last thing we need is 50 reinforced iron plates. I have, um, 13 on me when I make it back. Yeah, the Hacienda is tricky. To, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say that to you in the clear. The Hacienda is actually really difficult to um, make look good because the tiling is really cool. But then the way everything kind of ties in together, you almost have to like just put the hacienda wall going around the outside and end it that way. Oh, looks like my wife's awake, so I'll be right back. I'm going to hop up into the tower here and step away so I can say hi to her. Ba -bum. So back in just a moment.
Oops. I accidentally clicked the button and changed my sound settings, so... Hopefully... How does that sound? Is everything good? If I do some... Is that good? Not too loud? Hopefully that's better. Uh, I'm back, Gort. Welcome back. Did I miss anything? Nope. Awesome. So, uh, my wife is up, and I've got about another half hour that I'm going to go ahead and stream for, her, and then, uh, mind if we take a break for a few hours and maybe come back to it later on tonight? Sure. Sounds good. Cool. So that'll give me a little bit of time to go ahead and wrap up here. Um, so I need... Bum, 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 bum. Gosh, I need... We're going to need so much iron plate and so much concrete, it's not even funny. And that's the thing, like, I made a mistake in the last game of, like, not going big enough with it. You can really use, like, tons and tons of plate and tons and tons of concrete and just go crazy. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go ahead and just drop this conveyor merger Oh, look at all the plate. I'm not there yet. I'm still fucking around. Oh yeah, I figured. But just wait till you see all the plate. Let's go ahead and stack all these. Uh, we've got some rods. I could do a merger here. Actually, you know, I might want to reconsider this. No, we could do a merger here. That's actually not a bad idea. So we'll merge you into this. And one, two. Hang on. One, two. One, two. Hmm. Nah, I can't really do that. What the? I just looped it into itself. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. So I looped a merger into itself, and it's actually kind of great. Yeah. It. It's just a giant rotisserie of iron rods. Kind of like gorge belly thing. Yeah, no, come back. All right. So we're gonna put a merger here. This will make sense in just a moment, or so I hope. There we go. And then we're going to put a splitter right there. And we will split some off to the side. Uh, let's get our storage container. Um, excuse me? Oh, I had it going the wrong way. Uh, 
is that the right way? Yes. There we go. And same thing here. We'll have a splitter. And we'll have a little bit heading off that way. And move you to there. I'm going to hop on the back here, climb up the ladder. So there you have it. Our plates can go off to that side. Our rods can go over there. Um, and then the extras, whenever we have extra, can go straight forward to whatever we else we want to do. Yes. That is the plan. So all we need to do now... I take it you're working on the uh, reinforced iron plates for the last thing? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, getting logistics too will actually make this uh, much more efficient. Oh, looks like I got a new sub. I don't know if it's someone that's here watching, but uh, MegaQ77, if you're here watching, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Helps me to grow the channel. Ah. Couple short. I'm doing a couple right now as well. Um, you need the reinforced iron plates to actually make the Mark II belts anyways, so... So, just kind of like Factorio, the the belts do the same thing, but there's like... I think there's five different levels. So it's mm -hmm. like... Um, 60 per minute. 120 per minute. 300 per minute. And then it just keeps going up from there. I don't know what tier 4 and tier 5 are. I, did, I never really made it that far. I'd love for this run to actually go like the whole way. Well, yeah. Well, I'm on. Bro, I'm literally not going any. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Uh... Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Okay, so... Nice thing about this is you can literally take a higher tier belt and just click on whatever you're upgrading and it will just upgrade. Oh, yeah, now we got some throughput. I don't like how you can really see what you're making in the shit there. So, check it out. This one is a crate for plates. Um, the far side over here is a crate for iron rods. And then these splitters right here, we can continue over this way and then keep making more complicated products as those two fill up. That's really neat. Thank y'all. It's a good start. I like the way it looks. Like It actually looks like a real kind of factory kind of look, too. That's the goal. Eventually here, we definitely need to like expand out even further, but for right now, this is going to be all of our iron products. Um, I think I'm going to move next door and do a little bit of work with the copper yes so i can actually have nice. copper wire and copper cable but i need concrete yeah 
Get that one set up. Yeah, I think if I get this set up, I'll be able to focus on concrete after. We have a lot of hubs of concrete nearby. We just need to tap into them and make them work. Um, first things first. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Oh, wait. I can't do that yet. Never mind. Dope. You know, I just realized I was actually going to expand our tool belt. And I forgot to grab the wire and do that. Grab all of the concrete. <clears throat> uh, where is it? There we go. So that's going to take five minutes. Oh, so we are actually at the point... Wait, can I make those? Um, rotors. Yeah, we can make rotors. Oh shit, we can actually make a rebar gun. And we can bump out our inventory as well. So, a couple things to do. Uh, let's see if we can actually get this done. Is that just an extra smelter? I think it is. I'm just going to delete this. Everything go bye-bye. Excuse me. There we go. Ah, uh, again, concrete. It's always the concrete that we're short on. And we'll just keep working on it. And it's a deep pit. Yeah, there's actually a full-blown cave system down there that we can get to from another side. I can imagine. Alright, let's just say we're going to do Wait, that. Wait, kind of splits open. Um, we want to have... Damn it, do you have any concrete on you? Yeah. Toss me. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what she asks for there. Don't tell the elf. <laughs> Dude, you had like a ton of concrete. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to save it for the. What'd you hear you coming oh, the next milestone? I got everything else. Already. Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. So check this out. We got these conveyor lifts, too. Hmm. <coughs> uh, let's get a conveyor merger. No, conveyor splitter. I mean it has an invalid shape. Excuse me? Oh dude, this is so weird. I'm getting the weirdest error about this conveyor belt.
Fine. I will do... Oh, did that actually connect directly? Oh, what are the freaking odds of that with a damn mining location? That never happens. Uh, let's get... Smelter. One, two. One, two. And you will be copper ingots. Copper ingots. So that's going to be 60. Um, what am I gonna do now? Need a constructor. Let me. Hey, you spamming me? Hell, uh, what do? Oh, what does she need? I don't know. She's sending me pictures. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. So we could actually have four of these. Tool belt has been expanded. Hmm. Let's. I think I'm going to go ahead and merge this way. I kind of wish I'd... You know what? It's not too late. Let me go ahead and move these back a tile. I'd much rather do that than have to fight with it. Smelter. Yeah, I've got way more space here for that. And then let's go ahead and do our merger. And I think I'm just going to send it over this way. One, two. So, we're going to need... Let's just go ahead and set them down side by side, see how much space I need. Oh, I could actually move them over this way. Oh, we need reinforced iron plates. Okay, let's see if I can get a few more. I'm gonna need, like, what, eight? I think that's about right. Oh, damn, he's almost put everything in there. tile. Two, three, four. So let's say instead we could move it uh, if you could highlight that that'd be great. Merger can go right here. And 
And then we're going to go ahead and grab another splitter. And we'll need one more splitter here. Back yet? I think everything is now connected. Yeah. So all of these are going to make wire. So it's going to be, what is that? 30, 60, 90, 120. And I can go ahead and start merging everything up. Splitter. Uh, let's see. We're going to need... Oops, not... Storage container. There we go. And I'm going to kind of center this... How about there? So some of it will go there, and the rest can go to a pair of constructors. Let's just start the one right here. I'll put another one beside it as soon as I can afford it. Um, we're going to need more screws and more reinforced iron plates. There we go. I'm going to need even more reinforced iron plates in order to actually build uh, the better conveyor belts right there. Oh, you know what? I need to move that back a tile, don't I? Yeah, because these are actually a little bit bigger than that square tile. Alright, that's going to be good enough for me then. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I saw that all. I was muted. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you log out? Okay. You're fine. Yeah, I've only got a few more minutes until I go ahead and knock this off, and then maybe we can get back on later on tonight. Sure thing. Oh, good having you, Gort. Actually, kind of fun to do actually do a live stream with you. Yeah. Something a little different. Yeah. Is that? It's different. I'll get used to it. <laughs> Was it weird actually talking while I'm live streaming something out there? No, not really. Oh, okay. I was just going to remind myself not to do buying ribs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, shit like that. Yeah, the little stuff. I, To be honest, I don't think YouTube actually gives a damn about that. Okay. I know Twitch did. Uh, I know a couple of people on Twitch that just, like, they would light doobies up right live on stream. Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, whatever then. But, I mean, like, they were smaller, you know, like, affiliate level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here people have... It's kind of just in the chat. Alright, I think I've actually gone and made all of our 
wiring and all that kind of stuff. All right. So we should have like, well, if I'm looking at this right. All right, the mine is online. The smelters are now online. I've powered the things that are actually making the uh, wire. And I've powered the things that are actually making the cabling. So in a second here, I should be able to watch the whole thing go. And we still have extra capacity on our power system. So, yes. Oh, the uh, copper is flowing. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love, I it. love it when a good system works. Are you watching it live? Yeah. Oh, nice. There's all the wiring. And there's our first cables. Arr. So now the only thing I could do, if I wanted to actually make it a little bit better, drop a crap bench, screw harder, And I need a bunch of reinforced iron plates, and we'll be able to actually upgrade the belt system to move more stuff through. Was I getting... No, I had... 60 copper coming through. I'm gonna have to think about this for a second. I think I just need it on the far side where I do the wiring. I can't wait to automate the uh, reinforced iron plates. That's going to be coming up real soon. Alright, all of that is moving now. Yeah, I've doubled the rate, so now you can actually see it's really starting to crank. Well, cool. I don't know about you, but I think that that's going to be a great place to call it for the time being. Yep. That's, if you actually look at it, that's a pretty good looking starting factory. And over there, you can kind of see, like, we'll just, we'll be able to go ahead and tap into those mines and clear that area out and actually have uh, some buildings heading out directly. We'll get it organized and we'll get some walls up and get some, we'll beautify it in a little bit. So, thanks for being here, Gort, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for everybody that's on the stream. Thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and... Uh, whether you're watching now or later, be sure to go ahead and drop a sub if you want to help uh, help me actually create more content. That's the best way that you could help me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.